Orupap means son of the nature, that from Anyuak language. And we try to connect the, our music and dance with, with the nature. Also, we try to build like the new words just between the human being also and the nature. My name is Stephen uh, Apiru Chala. I am the director of Urupa African Performing Arts. And now I'm, uh, I'm standing in front of my studio in Juba town. This place called uh, Youth Cultural Center for, for training. I grew up in Juba. In 1985, I traveled to Khartoum as this place students and then I spent most of my life there till 2011 after independence I came back and in Khartoum there I start work as artist 1987 we start Urupap as a one-man show group I play alone like drumming I play more than 10 to 20 to 30 drums And then 1995, I changed the group from the drums, one man show, to the musical group. And 2005, I changed the group from the group just play music and dance to the institute to teach people, youngest people and kids in field of the music and dance and drama. Now we are back to our home and I'm happy. And we try to build our country because we know we are start from zero. But we have to start from zero, but also with the right way and also with strong ideas. Salam Dagon. Yeah, Salamat. Share the the road. The people they're living here in this area are from different tribes. Victoria, from the Baraza, from the Upper Nile, from the United States. They're still from the Khartoum, from the north. Some of them they stay with the parents or our friends. Some of them they're still searching for the housing. People need me in my, in my country because now I am over 40 years and experience, uh, many experience I have in, in teaching people music and also unite people all together just using the music and dance. Especially youth and kids, because we are, came from different uh, background. We came from di di different culture, like East Africa, from the Northern, from the America, from uh, Arab world. Like this, if you want to build like uh, identity for our country, you need really someone to have experience on that area. How to, we can unite our people? Because we have many tribalism among us. We as artists, we have a very big uh, job to do. That, that why, that why I'm here. I'm back, and I'm happy, and I will support my country, my people, with from my heart. Thank you very much. 
I think my people from my group or pub group, most of them they born of in, in Khartoum are displaced and they study there also. Most of them they don't know even South because they're born there and they grow there. They came for the first time in the Juba in South. And most of them they they're surprising, they have a shock because here they have green place and people not like there. It's not as hot like Khartoum. But also they have shock because here they don't have any job, don't have anything and uh, it was very expensive. Now they go back to their villages, some, 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 some of them, to go to see the, the grandfathers and grandmom and to know them, oh, la, 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 and they're happy, they pray for them, oh, now you're back. They do a lot of things on that. We have to use the power for the, the fun, for the equipment, for the music. But in Juba, because no public power, we're using generator. And then we, the thing is also, the, the diesel is very expensive. We never get it also. Like now, we are started late because we had to try to search for the diesel. Uh, we buy from the black market, almost 2,000 to 250 pounds. And just for the 20, uh, 20 liter. And I guess that will stay with us more, maybe two days. And it's really very hard. Before I, I moved from Khartoum to Juba, I came alone first to search uh, how I'm going to move my group here, how I'm going to start from zero. That way I came before them to, like many times. And then I searched, searching, search everywhere to see a possibility for that. And I go back with small ideas how we're gonna move, and then I start moving earlier, before independence was announced. And when I announce the order, I'm already my staff already arriving. The journey from Khartoum uh, to Juba, I start April. I pack all my stuff like uh, my drums, my equipment, my clothes of the, my my group. I put them on a big truck from the Khartoum till Kosti, and then we come by, by the river, from the Kosti till Juba. That take like 45 days, and I met the Minister of the Culture and Youth here in, in Victoria, and they give me this place just for time being to stay here and to start my work. And also, my group came back, they came after me, that uh, on June 20. Uh, 2011, they came and then they joined me and then we are do like a small workshop and then we are present our the Samsung also Independent Day on on that day. I live in the North Sudan like almost 27, 25 years, around that years. And also uh, we build a lot of uh, friendship with the Northern people, especially the artists, uh, the, the musicians, uh, also, also the singers and dramatic people also, and we have very nice. And when we're separate and they cry, hey man, we're gonna lose you, we're gonna miss you. I say, yeah, it's not, uh, yeah, this something happened. And not me, not you, but it's the world things. They like everything will change in the all in the world. I even I didn't, I didn't think about it, but now it's happened. We, we we have to accept and then we try to continue. But now we are still calling each other, email each other by email, and we are hope to, to meet again, maybe to go there to do like show if we were invited as artists we can go because we're artists. Also, maybe also we we'll, we'll try to invite them also to come to our country to do something together, workshop together as artists. I think we still have our heart together. Mm -hmm.